Hey guys, it's your boy. We are back with more Mount Fujifilm content, and today we are taking a look at Level 80 Black Bolt and Tier 4 Black Bolt, both of them in Alliance Battle Extreme ABX, no restriction day. Now, I have tried the Universal teams as well. You might be thinking about how strong he is. Uh, compared to Loki and everything honestly the scores will definitely tell you everything once I run it and as far as the universal team goes you need Morgan Le Fay uh, for the support okay there is no other support compared to apart from uh, Proxima for this guy on the universal villain day so you do need Morgan Le Fay so maybe Loki just takes the cake around there because not everyone actually has the paywall uniform for Morgan Le Fay so anyways let's take a look at the build for the tier 4 and I'm gonna show you the build for the level 80 as well then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you both the runs and the score difference and he does get quite a big bump from the level 80 to tier 4 uh, the, I think the biggest score bung, uh, bung, uh, among all the tier 4s in the game so let me just uh, share with you the details uh, for the stats so this is how the stats look like at the moment 199 almost maxed out with this we have a 12 on his blessings on this guy uh, critical damage all skills level 6 Thor tier 4 Thor is the striker which is the best we have the rank 5 type enhancement power of angle stage 12 and then we have the 4 star artifact for this guy giving himself 15% ignore dodge and 13% all attack which is nice CDB of rage and we have a mythic uniform with these uniform options now let's take a look at the uh, well basically I'll probably go through the rotation in a bit uh, in with the level 80 build let me show you the cards uh, cards look like this pretty amazing cards actually so definitely a top account so if he doesn't score more than Loki with this then yeah it's probably gonna be skipped so let me show you the level 80 build and then we'll go to the runs okay so this is the the, the, the level 80 account that I'm gonna show you and this is one of my alt accounts the spellboard account I've sh uh, you might have seen that a long time uh, so level 80 blackboard let's take a look at the stats and the uh, rotations for level 80 as well as tier 4 so stat wise this is how he goes we got 12 audience blessings on this guy as well uh, exactly around the same critical damage all skills are level 6 well actually level 10 sorry the gears are also 30 so that's there he only has silence on the 5th skill so it's super easy cancel it doesn't even give any issues type enhancement rank 4 we have overdrive stage 12 and a 4 star Artifact, which is literally useless, uh, CDP of Rage, and as well as <clears throat> the Mythic Uniform. Apart from that, now going for the rotation, there are some changes for the cards. We well, this is how it looks like. So around the same uh, attack on the cards on this account as well as that account. So it's very close. So you will see the level 82 uh, difference. Rotation for level 80 is gonna be two cancel, five cancel. 3, 4. You can actually don't have to actually use the second skill, but I just use it. Uh, you can go 5 cancel, 3 cancel, 4, and then 1, 2, and then 4, 5, 3, tier 3. Okay, so 5 cancel, 3 cancel, 4, then 1, 2, and then 4 cancel, 5 cancel, 3, <coughs> tier 3 skill, and basically keep repeating that. For tier 4, if you have that rotation slightly changes okay so the first rotation always goes with the five cancel three cancel four you can use a second skill in between uh just for that okay you can also use second skills you can sort of go like the five cancel uh the tier four skill on the second rotation and then three four tier three or five cancel tier four four three tier three because the tier 4 skill actually gets available after that so you want to use it as soon as possible and not wait too much now let me just show you the runs first level 80 you just uh, saw the build and everything uh, this is without the tier 4 and I think without the tier 4 the rotation is uh, worst in my opinion because the 4 skill comes off cooldown late compared to 5 anyways I'm gonna start off with the here uh, with the 2 cancel 5 cancel 3 4 although it was not needed Tier 3, you don't really have to do the second skill, by the way. It's only... I was just doing it because, <laughs> I don't know, uh, I had the uh, muscle memory, I guess you can say, from the Tier 4 gameplay. So, as you saw, he the rotation fits really well with the Rage. And uh, he's pretty consistent with the procs as well. I've only had a few times when the procs were not that good. The reason, uh, you must be thinking, why am I using and waiting one extra second for the 4th skill? I don't want to activate the proc at all before the tier 3 skill or close to the tier 3 skill. Reason? 
the main damage the main score is on that skill specifically so if i mess up if i don't get the proc if i if i actually even miss a single second on the tier 3 i lose points you can use the fifth skill as uh, soon as he comes out you can actually even use it before that if the mobs are around super easy cancel the silence applies throughout that fifth skill which is in incredible and i hope uh, i hope that it also is the case for paralyze we'll have to see because paralyze season might be an issue if the paralyze is on the first hit that can be a big issue and that will definitely make him score less now again it all depends on if you get the proc look at that the proc was really bad so rng surely is doing its job and it's not letting me use this thing i want to try to get the tier 3 skill in as well right here i'm gonna go five cancel and we are able to get and delay the second door which is really good okay so if you delay that you can definitely make about four to five hundred k at least more on your runs uh, when you go when you do any runs with blackboard that's definitely important now one more thing that i want to mention is that you might have seen me using the co-op skill just as now co-op skill black bolt with medusa support actually does extra fifth skill which can help you a lot in other game modes as well but there are not really other game modes that you can use them together so maybe no restriction you can try if you don't have morgan and i believe this ill and this is and this will be the best team up for black bolt level 80 slash tier 3 for at least silent season it might change on the seasons but i don't think it will if you're using him because he also has paralyzed super easy to cancel so i think that is going to be the best scenario now the well we just actually hit eight uh, ten million on this time which is pretty nice now this is sort of the weird part you know uh like the score is awesome with the tier four uh tier three skill rotation sometimes i'm not sure why maybe the normal rotation does more damage maybe it's also proc dependent but i've seen the normal skill rotation score also fluctuates a lot anyways four seconds remaining we will only be able to get a few skills in and should have gone with just the four skill but 10.76 11 million is definitely possible with the same team up morgan is the best if you want to use that by the way so now let's go for tier four black bolt two cancel five three cancel four and then one cancel two and then we're gonna start off with five cancel tier four look at that five tier four four three or three four tier three skill okay this is very important because look at that i have already have uh 44 percentage on the tier four skill charge up just because i used it before the three and four so it can make a big difference in your scores the tier four skill is the main factor that affects it and we already have actually almost five million there we go over five million in like less than 35 seconds which is incredible uh very few characters actually can do that i'm gonna try and uh, we did do some nice damage he's gonna now go for the rower uh, he does like slightly date which sort of sucks i just hope he can i'm gonna use the fifth skill before he comes out of iframe because there were mobs still able to easily cancel the rower so yeah like i think gameplay wise he's a lot fun he's really fun to play for sure and i like him uh absolutely love him man 8 million after the first minute which is incredible now this is where i felt like he was gonna score 15 16 million i was really hoping for that but that did not happen doesn't mean he's bad but uh, i was just expecting for 15 16 million because well the tier uh, tier 4 buff buff were actually really amazing anyways so <clears throat> halfway marker and we are at 9.6 million which is still a pretty nice score for the halfway mark I was not able to get the tier 4 skill before the tier 3 right here although we were able to delay the rower which was perfect which was great it can help you out a lot we already got 11 point uh, 10.2 million working good actually you need to have around 10 plus uh, around 10 plus to i would say 10.3 if you want to cap in abx but it is definitely insane like one we have like 11 million <laughs> at the first minute timer if you can hit about 11.1 or 11.2 then i would say you can definitely go for 12 million you can score 3 million points in that last minute for sure if you are running around 11 point or something there 
I'm gonna try to use the tier 4 skill whenever possible. We are, uh, well, gonna be reaching the 12 million mark super, super soon. I'm trying to spam the tier 4 and tier 3 skill. If you get the tier 4 skill before the tier 3, that's awesome. We were able to delay the third rower as well. So we got all the rowers delayed. Means extra rotations every single ro every single rower, which is incredible. Gonna go for the tier 4 and tier 3 skill right here. 12.6, 12.7, 12.8, 12.9. There we go. We have our 13 million for the run right here. Super, super strong. And then we have here as well. So CDP of Rage. No character comes closer. Uh, Loki can do really good, but Brilliant Judgment Loki, I think he's competing with Brilliant Judgment Loki at least for Silent Season. It's pretty awesome. Six, uh, 14 million, definitely possible in this account. Very strong. Okay, so if you ask me now, he's very strong. Okay, he's uh, the strongest tier 4 in the game at the moment. And he is also the one that gets the most from the tier 4 skill value. Moon Knight was, I think, the best before this one, which uh, gave him almost 1 to 1.2 million increase in score from level 80 tier 3 to level uh, tier 4 with the same build. Now Black Bolt is here giving himself about like almost 2.5 to 3 million jump which is huge for Alliance Battle. It also gave him around the same jump in Alliance Battle Legend as well. So he's definitely very, very, very strong. Usability wise, I think ABX, Loki is level 70, he's tier four. So, and no matter how much you score, even if you score 13 million, as Black Bolt just did, 13.5 or something, even if you end up scoring 15 million, of course the score will be fascinating. I would love to see those scores in the future as well. But nothing counts after 12 million. And it's a tier 4 versus Loki, who's a level 70. Literally half the cost of Black Bolt and... Uh, you know, uh, useful as well, works with the proc as well, you can just, last, uh, you can also drop like a rage, you can also drop a my destruction. So in comparison, I'll, I'd like to do the video later on for the universal villain ABX, comparing both of the characters with CDP average on both of them, just to see the score difference and that's how it goes. Apart from that, Black Bolt, is it really worth it? Honestly, he's amazing. He's incredible. Even level 80 Black Bolt is very good in World Boss Legend. ABX wise, level 80 I don't think does have any value. I think at level 80 he's around the same uh, scenario, around the same score length around Iron Man I would say. Um, and I would say Moon Knight will be a bit better than level 80 Black Bolt with the same attack if you have them. And tier 4 is where exactly where he shines. Level 80 also can clear some really high stages. But restrictions are too much for Black Bolt in World Boss Legend. So you can't really use him. Apart from that, he's, he's really amazing. He's mainly for ABX and ABL. And I would say he's mainly for ABL. You know, because ABS, we already have Loki, we have Moon Knight and the Tier Force for the no restriction. That's how it goes. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Is it really worth investing in this guy? I will also be doing the Universal Villain ABX comparison with Loki soon. Maybe on that day, maybe not, maybe tomorrow. Let's see how that rolls out. So let me know what you think about that. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one.